welcome back to another Bee Fun Friday where I tell you some interesting tidbits about bees. Um, maybe you've heard these things before, maybe you haven't, but either way I hope that you enjoy what I share with you and I hope that you share it with others. So today I wanted to tell you a little bit about bee navigation. Um, it's a fascinating topic, at least it is to me, and I'm just amazed at um, how smart bees are. Um, I guess some people would say bees do the things that they do based on instinct, and that's probably partly true, but um, I'm going to show you a couple things here that I think demonstrates their intelligence. So, okay, I don't know how best to show you this, but let's see if we can get this on camera for you so you can see it. Okay, so you can see over here we've got a beehive and we got our bees in there. And over here, almost off camera, see if I can move that right there. Okay, over here we've got our food source. So what goes on is a bee will fly out and look for food and they end up finding the food and they get some and then they fly back to the hive. And when they get back there, they'll do what's called a waggle dance. And they'll do a series of spins and turns and shaking their abdomen, abdomen around and things like that. So the other bees watch her to see what she's doing. And they'll remember everything that she does in that waggle dance. Those are basically the directions to the food source. So then this other bee knows where to go. She'll fly out and she'll follow the directions that she remembered and she'll find that food source. And then she'll go back to the hive and they'll, the bees will go back and forth and getting their food that way. Now I watched a documentary about this and I can't for the life of me remember what it's called. So if this information sounds familiar to you and you know um, the name of that documentary or TV program that this was done in, please let me know. I'd love to credit that um, so that other people can watch that as well and probably get more information on this. So, um, And this is another interesting part of what they can do with their navigation. So what the scientists in this documentary did was they had a feeder set out um, where the bees were coming and going and they put these little teeny tiny um, like radio transmitters on the bees so they could track where the bees were going. So they knew that the bees were going to the feeder and then going back to the hive. Then what they did was they moved the feeder. So let's say they moved it up here. Okay, so then the bees would go out here and it's not there. So they would forage around and forage around and they'd find this other source of food, the feeder where they moved the feeder at. So then they flew back to the hive and what they did in their waggle dance was gave instructions or directions to this bee to get to this new location. Now the scientists figured out how to translate the waggle dance, um, the different ways that they would move around um, to determine what directions they were giving. And they determined that the bee that found the food source was giving directions from the hive to the new bee sort, to the new food source. So then this other bee that watched the waggle dance flew out of the hive and didn't go to the new food source. It went to the old spot where the food used to be and didn't find the food. And then instead of flying back to the hive and then following directions to the new food source, this bee went from here from the old food source and flew to the new one. So somehow this bee figured out how to get from this location to this location only using the directions that were given for this. How do they do that? I don't know. If somebody gave me directions to a new place and all I knew was those directions and these directions and I found myself here and I had to get from here to here, I'd need a map or something. I don't know how they figured out how to get from the old feeder spot to the new feeder spot if they didn't have these directions right here. So like I said, even though bees probably work a lot on instinct, I think this demonstrates their intelligence, their ability to figure some things out um, as far as directions, where to go, how to navigate. Um, I thought you may find that interesting too. And if you like these videos, don't forget to share them with your friends and hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm working on something that 
I might do for when we hit the 500 subscriber mark, which isn't a huge milestone to bigger YouTubers out there, but I'm a smaller one, so 500 is a lot to me. So I wanna do a little something for you guys. So stay tuned for that coming up soon. Um, how soon, I don't know yet. Depends on how quickly subscribers come in. So um, thank you to everybody who's subscribed so far and thank you for your encouragement and support. I really appreciate it and I will catch you next time. Bye. Thank you.